blender. And then I have to take two pies in the sink. How do you not cut your hands? Just because I can tell where to grab it? I do cut my hands, but I'm more likely doing stupid things. The finished product is going to be a, a sink, which, you know, go to that sink and kind of set the beginning and the finished product. It'll look like the one we just looked at over there? It'll be different colors, but same kind of um, look. First cut of the day. <laughs> How did that Actually, happen? We don't cut ourselves. No, very I often. had the first cut of the day. Right did you? Yeah, right there. I've only had stitches twice in 33 years, so that's not bad. No, I'm just cutting this piece here only because I already started. Um, and it has to be it has to be this size and this shape to fit into that window. So this is. Uh, this is 192, wherever that is, but this fits into a specific place on here. We mix up like this really nasty smelling gooey stuff, and we force it in between all the lead and the glass. And what that does is it waterproofs the window, and it creates a nice stiff window that's solid and is going to last for a long time. This is going to be a, uh, a front door window for house in Dorchester. I have glass in my car. I have designs in my car. My, when we bought our pool table, my husband couldn't understand why I wanted a ping pong top. My sudden interest in ping pong was so that I could draw big designs at home. <laughs> no one has played ping pong on it yet, but it's covered with glass right now. Um, it's just, it's very consuming. It's, it's, it's what you think about, other than your family, it's what you think about, it's what you want to do. I, I'm always drawing the next thing. And by the time I'm done, I know every single piece because I've drawn it, I've cut it, I've foiled it, I've soldered it, I've cleaned it, I've buffed it, I've looked at it.